there anybody out there? Hi, this is Linda, and it's nighttime, and I'm going to do this really quick. It's called the sellout syndrome, and this has been going on for thousands of years. And although I'm going to use it as a Native American um, indigenous uh, story, and and it's actually true, but it's true for everybody. If you're in, if you're Scottish, uh, back in the days before the empires. I mean, you were indigenous, too, to your land, and you had traditions, and you had things you did, and so it doesn't matter what country or what your bloodline is. We're all indigenous in some way to some country. You're, maybe you live in the United States, but your ancestors came from another country. But here are some things that the empires have done over thousands of years, and I'll go to the article right now. Now this is called the sellout syndrome and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read it I'm going to just kind of set the camera right here um, I'm not very good with the camera an indigenous communal society is made up of humans with family ties each is free equal and has a voice all work together to maintain the survival of the extended family some are good hunters or woodsmen or fishermen or medicine people or tradesmen some plant and maintain the agriculture. Some may not be able to contribute. They still have a right to an equal share of the proceeds provided by our Mother Earth. Those who take more than their share and hide it and flaunt it violate the people. Someone with a secret stash often does not share. They become lazy. Dulling their survival instincts. Their in instant <laughs> insensitivity might endanger the rest, so they are banished. In the past, it was a death sentence, as they could not survive alone. The Indians are equal to our surroundings, the animals, the fish, the winged ones, the crawling creatures, rocks, trees, brooks, and earth. No one is better or less than the other. No leader exists. The, the nonverbal communication between us and the natural world is very real. The invaders... And I'm going to say thousands of years ago, the empires brought an unnatural way, a one God individual ego system. We are told to forget about our ties to our people, to follow their ways, to better ourselves, to make our own decisions, to be better than everybody else. We are trained to become self-important and to stop thinking of being an equal member of our group or the human species. The invaders convinced some of us to go there to their schools, their churches, and to be brainwashed to their ways. Some are trained to think that they are better than other people. To better themselves and be accepted by the European hierarchical system, they marry an invader, get a good job, a two-garage house, cars, three children, shows they have made it in foreign ways, their mates are tough, harsh people who protect them from the weaknesses, especially their desire to be among their own people. And, and we are divided at this point. No one knows who to talk to. But as the story goes, after a while, these modified Indians or any indigenous folks feel a need to go back to help their people become hierarchical like them. The people see them as betrayers and will never accept them back. These Indians falsely figured they have lowered themselves in a downward spiral to make their way back into our society. It doesn't work that way. They can't come back to one mind because they accepted the programming of the dividers, the empires in my mind. As the bottom rung in the pyramid, they get the most shit on them. The traitors among us are playing a dangerous crap game, as Mick Jagger sings, Tumbling dice, honey got no money, I'm all six and sixes, sevens, and nines. Say now, baby, I, I, the rank outsider, you can be my partner in crime. You got to roll me and call me the tumbling dice. Now, this is actually true, the, the sellout syndrome. We sell out to be better, and, and every culture's done this. Um, to be like these hierarchical people when we're really a matriarchal system, which is a, where everyone works together. It's not a 
communist system. It's not a, um, a fascist system. It's, it's a system to get along for the earth. And, and each of you, if you're Scottish or Scott-Irish, uh, look, Northern Ireland, indigenous people, um, I mean, the Indians sent them money to help them feed themselves when Great Britain had, had the wars going on between Northern Ireland, Ireland and Ireland. Um, it's, it's, it's just each of us have came from some place that at one time was tribal and had all those ties and all that instinct. And something has taken its place. And it's hard to get back to the earth. And once you get back to the earth, you do connect. And you connect with other people. And I see it happening all the time. And you can correct the sellout syndrome. You can become friendly with your neighbors. And you can also get out of this well. Now, I'm not going to say anything about the Constitution or having weapons or anything. Because I believe you do need to protect yourself. But I've heard people say... We have no tolerance for you anymore, Linda, because you haven't been saved by our God. Or um, I've heard other people say, I'll kill the first person who walks down the road and tried to, tries to stay, take my stuff. And I'm thinking, well, you know, what if it's a family with children who are just hungry and you could just help them out? I mean, that's what the human race is about. We used to help one another out. This hierarchical system has made us change. It's changed against our nature. So I just wanted everybody to, I'm going to leave this and don't take this article offensively because you can apply this to, to every culture there is. And this is from the Mohawk Nation News. I'm not Mohawk, but I do like their stories. They're very right on. Um, but I, I would like to, I would like everyone like, um, just, just read it or apply it to where you come from. I know everybody around here is, kind of, you know, mixed with something. And before the empires came along, your people were tribal too, and they, they did get along, and there might have been some clan fights, but for the most part, everybody got along. So this was my little nighttime story, and um, I'm going to go to bed on this. But I wish everybody peace, peace, love, and be kind to one another, because we're all connected. We're the human race. We're, we're not... Indian or Jewish or or conservative or liberal or human beings and we should take care of one another and love one another and strive for peace and I mean real peace and I love you all good night have sweet dreams and maybe tomorrow something wonderful will happen everyone will wake up and maybe the soldiers will put down their guns and the drone guys will quit droning innocent people but that's just my dream love you all linda